This is a quick video over the over a plug flow reactor, plug flow reactor, it's going to be gas phase, and it's going to be second order, second order, order. It will also be constant pressure, constant pressure, and temperature, so that's temperature. Now we know the design equation for just a regular old plug flow reactor, the differential form of it is Fa0, Fa0, dx, all over dv, and that's equal to a negative ra. Now, if we do a little rearranging and we solve for dv, we get dv is equal to Fa0, all divided by negative ra, dx. Now, if we integrate both sides of the equation, we get the volume is equal to Fa0, because Fa0 is not changing with respect to dx, it's a constant, so we just move it out in front, Fa0 times the integration dx all over a negative Ra. So if we have a system with a chemical reaction of 2A goes to B plus 2C, and we're just going to divide by the stoichiometric coefficients of A for all of them, so we're just going to divide by 2 on everything, so simply what we're going to get, we're going to instead have going to instead have A goes to 1 over 1 half B. So for every mole of A that's converted, we get half a mole of B plus 1 mole of C. So the reaction rate of A is, for a second order reaction, is KCA squared. Now normally for liquids, the concentration of A is equal to CA0 1 minus the conversion of A. That's the concentration of A for a liquid system. But our problem is, as A is being consumed, the system is actually expanding. So let's say we have our plug flow reactor and we have we have one mole of A going in one mole going in. If all of A is consumed, if the conversion is completely, if all of A is consumed and it's a hundred percent conversion, then that means we have 1.5 moles coming out. 1.5 moles coming out. So now to find the concentration of A, we know that Fa0 over here is equal to the concentration of A initially times the volumetric flow rate initially. Now over here the molar flow rate of A is equal to the concentration of A times the volumetric flow rate. However, the volumetric flow rate is actually faster over here. It's not the same flow rates. So this is actually going faster because we now have 1.3 moles of gas versus 1 mole of gas. And 1.5 moles of gas at the same temperature and pressure take up more volume than 1 mole of gas. So to account for this expansion in the system, what we do is we say epsilon is equal to the mole fraction of A times delta. Now delta is equal to delta is equal to for this system is equal to a negative one. So we're losing one mole of A if it, we have a hundred percent conversion. We're losing one mole of A but we're gaining half a mole of B and we're lo and or, yeah we're getting another mole of C plus one. So delta for our system is equal to one half. So now, that is, initially, we're assuming that, let's assume that we have pure A, or let's assume YA is actually only 0 0.5. Let's say we have, let's say we have 50% inerts, inerts. So we have, we also have I coming into the system. Now I does not affect delta. So we account for I by YA. So then the expansion factor, which is only due to A, so if we have 50% inerts, that means we actually have two moles, two moles going in. Sorry about this, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. And 2.5 moles going out. 2.5 moles of going out. So that's B and C. And this is total moles. Sorry if I'm jumping around, that might be a bit confusing. So if we include, if we have our system initially with 50% A and 50% inerts, the inerts will not be consumed at all. 
So they'll just go through the system and come out. So at the end, we have 1.5 moles of, of B and C plus one mole of inert will give us a total of 2.5 moles. So now we have 0 0.5 times the, uh, the delta, which is 1 over 2. So the expansion factor is simply equal to 0.25. So then if we wanted to find the, the final velocity, the volumetric flow rate, that is equal to the initial volumetric flow rate times 1 plus epsilon times the conversion. So if we have a hundred percent, a hundred percent conversion, or if we have zero percent conversion, then the initial flow rate is equal to the final flow rate, or the final flow rate is equal to the initial flow rate. So that means we only have two moles leaving the system. But if we have a hundred percent conversion, then the the volumetric flow rate out of the system is equal to the initial flow rate times one plus 0.25 or 1.25. So for 100% conversion, the volumetric flow rate out of the system is 125% more than the initial volumetric flow rate into the system. But this is an equation that we really care about, because we can use this to find the concentration of A, which we can then plug into this equation, which we can then plug into this equation and solve for the volume. So to do all this, let's erase that. To do all this, we know the concentration of A is equal to FA all divided by the velocity or the mul the volumetric flow rate. Now, now FA is equal to FA naught one minus the uh, the conversion of A. So this becomes FA naught one minus x, and then we all divide this by this equation we just solved for. So now we have V naught one plus one plus epsilon x. So now we can plug this equation and for C A in this equation. So if we do that, we get the negative reaction rate of A is equal to K F A naught and we're just going to divide FA naught by V naught, and really FA naught divided by V naught is simply CA naught. So FA naught divided by V naught is equal to is equal to the concentration of A initially, CA naught. So then this becomes KCA CA naught squared times one minus X all divided by 1 plus epsilon x, and all these are squared again. That's just because this is CA squared, so we had to square all that. So now we can plug this in for a negative RA. So when we do that, we then get the volume is equal to, is equal to F A naught integration dx K C A naught squared squared so this section be a little bit longer one minus x squared all divided by one plus epsilon x and that squared so this is not changing with respect to x so we can actually move this out here and we'll then move this one up here so let's just do that real quick so now we have the volume is equal to F A naught divided by k c a naught squared times the integration of 1 plus epsilon x squared dx all divided by 1 plus epsilon x or sorry 1 minus x squared so now that we have all of that we can actually integrate this from 0 to x now this is actually a hard integration, and you can actually just use uh, integration tables, or actually Wolfram Alpha, or you can use that as a, just a basic, good old-fashioned integration exercise. But when you do this, you actually get a really ugly equation. You get 
the volume of the system is equal to V naught, the volumetric flow rate, divided by K CA naught, CA naught, times 2 epsilon, 1 plus epsilon natural log of 1 minus x plus epsilon squared times x plus 1 plus epsilon squared times x all divided by 1 minus x. So that is the equation you use to find the volume of a gas phase system for a plug flow reactor. So hopefully that was really long. Hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes and you got the concepts.